What's up, drumheads? Have you guys ever had one of those moments where you're learning something new and you're working on it and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, the light bulb goes off and you're like, oh my God, that's so easy. That makes so much sense. I don't know why I didn't think about it like that before. I'm hoping that's what happens today with some of you guys. So let's get behind the kit. Jesus Christ, dude. So do you ever hear people put like those fast hi-hat bursts in? You know, you always hear it in like trap music. Look, Ariana, Selena, my So I'm gonna assume that you guys already know how to play this beat right here. Sixteen notes on the hi-hat, right, left, right, left, come down on the snare for two. Pretty basic, right? So if you're going right, left, right, left, just double one of those hits. So how do we take this little concept and apply it to this groove, or our playing in general? We're going to use the grid. Basically what we're going to be doing is replacing the one with a double. And then we're going to replace the E with a double. And then the N with a double, and so on and so forth. You're basically covering every possible option where you could place those fast 30 second note doubles within this 16 note groove. Now, while playing some of these examples, you probably came across some that felt weird or uncomfortable, and that's probably because you've never placed a double in that spot like that before. When you come across something like this in drums, embrace it. This is you breaking down your weaknesses, fixing the chain link fence, filling the potholes in the road, as Matt Garska says. This is you, in real time, calibrating your body to be able to play this. And after like 15 minutes, you'll feel the improvement and it's a great feeling. That's why drums are so sick, because like after 15 minutes, you're able to do something you weren't able to do 15 minutes ago. Instant gratification. So as always, we gotta take it a step further. How can we keep moving forward? What's the next thing? What if we put two sets of doubles together? So four 30 second notes. Take that down the grid. Now you'll notice when I'm doing these, when I get to the snare, I'm skipping it. Like, I'm not playing doubles off the snare. Uh, that's because I don't want to backbeat with doubles. And uh, if you want to go, like, double hat, you can, I guess. But that's just kind of, like, I, I mean, I don't even know.
I don't know. But you just get up to speed and it's not gonna... No. No. Okay, what if you just do doubles on the left hand only? So on all the E's and the U's. Think about it. What about just the right hand? I don't know. These are all the little questions and curiosities you should be asking when you're practicing, you know? Uh, what if you make all of them doubles? Except the snare. All of them except the snare. pretty sick too. You know, just try whatever. You know what you could do if you want to be tricky about the snare? You could accent that first note and then ghost that second one. So it's like a little ghost after the backbeat. What's the next thing? Change the kick pattern. Maybe keep this hi-hat thing on top and try and just play kicks on the one and the and. I can't even do it already. These are things like I haven't even gone this far, you know? What about I'll try and put one on the uh? My face probably looks like I'm trying to take a fat sh** right now. Approach your drums with curiosity and let those practice sessions kind of carry you into whichever direction they're gonna go, you know? It's a much more enjoyable way to practice, I think. Sorry I've been absent for like the month of December. Uh, I've kind of been on holiday with the wife, you know, just enjoying the life. We went on a safari, we saw freaking lions, cheetahs, rhinos, giraffes, zebras. Did you know it's zebras? It's not zebras. Zebra. Google it. Zebra. Anyways, yeah, it's super awesome. We went snorkeling with seals. Like, man, South Africa is just an amazing place. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos, here to subscribe. Check out my Patreon down there. That's about it. Peace.